Well, hello, and welcome back to Moving Image Lab tutorial. Today we're talking about uber simple, super simple, I don't know anything about color correction, color correction. And it's quick, it's dirty, it's a good way to get started. I gave you the other tutorial about using your Lumetri scopes, which for some reason don't show up on my, when, <clears throat> excuse me, when I try and pull up that screen and open it up and I just, I don't know why they aren't here. Anyway, I don't know if you're going to have that problem, but if you want to keep it low budget and not, and not fancy, <laughs> then this is the way to do it. Okay. So I put some clips here. Surprisingly, I did not have that much trouble finding some clips that needed a uh, fairly substantial color correction. You'll notice that this doesn't look horrible. This, this um, clip here, I'm trying to enlarge it. Um, open sesame. Okay, so but what jumps out to me with this clip is that it's very warm. This wall back here probably in real life is a little more white, right? And um, his skin tone's a little bit brown, uh, you know, he's got the lavender shirt on and it doesn't look bad, but it's just a little bit off probably, a little too warm. Then by contrast, we've got two other interesting clips in this set from this same shoot. We've got this one that is actually uh, a little too blue but it gives a better representation of what a white wall really should look like. So the white balance is better for this. Notice that it's probably got fluorescent lighting here and this was probably um, ha uh, halogen or um, incandescent lighting. I don't exactly know, but um, it, it was a warmer light and you can tell. And then finally, we've got this hideous abomination. Okay, don't do this. This, this is called I didn't color, I didn't white balance, right? And it's a little overexposed too. So I don't think we even end up using this clip because we just would have been like really too hard to even, eh, it's not horrible, but um, it's just not, it's not well uh, white balance, it's not well exposed. And so we probably wouldn't even try and mess with that. But here, here's the main interview and we've really got to make this look better. So. Here's what I would do, easy and quick. Okay, so over here, you'll notice um, right, right when you open everything, you've got this project window open, okay? And to get to your effects, you can go like up here, right, and, and mess with it. But I like to go to this overflow right here, these two little arrows, and grab my effects from here. I'm going to go to video effects, open that up. I'm going to go past color correction. What? That's right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go down to obsolete and grab my fast color corrector because like I said, it's quick and dirty. Pull that into the clip and then when I double click to put it over here in the source uh, panel, I can open up the effect. Did you see how I did that? Um, this is what you'll eventually have. You can either hit right there or, or through that. And oh, thank you for saving that. Okay, so I don't need to really do anything with the position, the scale, the rotation. I'm going to close that. Opacity is fine. Time remapping, we don't want to speed it up or slow it down or flip it or anything like that. But here we go. So if you have done some photo editing in um, Photoshop, this might look kind of familiar to you. I always start with uh, the input levels. So is it really not too dark? But if I wanted to, I could lighten it up just a touch by pulling that over like uh, the far right and lighten it up if I want more contrast. I'm going to pull this um, on the left side, the darks, just so you know what that is. And then these are the, the middle tones here. See how that works? Yeah, so 
we could brighten it up just a little bit there. Let's talk about the white balance though. Okay, so the first thing you can do is do check one of one of these, <coughs> excuse me, auto white level. Let's see what that does. I did not see any change. So let's try this. So this plane here, it's supposed to be white, right? So we're going to take our little picker, our little eyedropper, pull it over, and there you go. It's not that much of a difference, but can you tell already it's just slightly cooler if I close it and then open it, close it and open it. Little bit cooler tone that uh, back wall is starting to just look a little bit more white. And right here, this, this has gone over towards the blue part of the color wheel. You can pull it like a lot more over then it starts to just look ridiculous. You don't want that, but um, I'm looking at that back white wall and I'm pulling it right about there. I'm going to brighten it up just a little bit. A little more contrast there. I don't think that's too bright on his face. All right, I, I usually I'm just doing the input levels. Let's see. Sometimes I up the saturation a little, just a little bit. And that makes it, again, a little more brown. But it's, it's a thing where you just kind of eyeball it. And if you want to, all right, you can do uh, show a split view. Oh, and this really shows it. So that where I am is again the fast color corrector show split view. You can also do it vertical. That's maybe a little more helpful. Uh, so you can see that it's you've taken a lot of the yellow out of the picture. Okay, and that's honestly probably all I would really do. It's a little bit uh, better. Um, let me take that off. I think, it, you know, again, as I brighten up those mid-tones just a little bit, you don't want them to get too, too overexposed. And that's, you know, your basics. You want the white balance to be a little bit improved, uh, the color to pop a little bit more, make sure you've got adequate contrast. Um, that's what those input levels are. Um, yeah, and it's not by any means rocket science, uh, but it looks a little bit better. It still doesn't really match this. <laughs> I just don't know if that's going to happen. But in any case, it's a little better, and that's all we really want. Okay, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Watch the other color correction video. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to get those Lumetri scopes on your um, Premiere Pro to show. I don't know why mine won't show, but they won't. But anyway, happy editing.